Now for a healthy part of a balanced diet. Golden Apple! In this video, I'm making a real life version of Golden Apple from Minecraft. It's a special food item that bestows beneficial effects when consumed. And no, for my version, you won't need any actual gold to make it. Here's how. Alright, we're going to make our delicious dessert out of Granny Smith apples. I like these because of their pectin content and because I just think they're generally the best apple for cooking. And we're going to need three of them. You might need more. I would make more than you need uh, because you can freeze it and use it whenever. It also makes a pretty good applesauce. Alright. First, let's peel them. Right now I'm going to slice in half. And I'm going to remove the core by simply cutting it into quarters and then slicing the core out that way. See? Convenient. Right now we're going to cut the apple into essentially eighths. But you can make them smaller than that into a microwave safe bowl. I'm using a measuring cup for uh, reasons that will present themselves eventually. Uh, and you want to toss them with a little bit of lemon juice. All right. So we're going to take this microwave safe bowl and we're going to nuke it for five minutes. All right. Five minutes has gone by. I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. Careful, it's hot. Just kind of redistribute the apples best you can. Helps if you use a container bigger than what you think you're going to need. Oh, I just lost one. Uh, but I'm going to let that one stay on the floor. All right. And we're going to go another five minutes. All right, another five minutes of cooking. And we've got, well, apple slob. And I'm going to pulverize it in another five minutes because I don't want to burn myself. In the meantime, I'll clean up this big apple mess. All right, so we have to pulverize this into a puree. You can use a potato masher. You can use a ricer. Uh, you can even use a blender, but I'm going to make it easy on me. And I'm going to use my stick blender to get it super, super smooth. All right, so three apples gave me about two cups of puree, which is more than we need. Uh, I did three apples. You could probably get away with doing two. I just wanted to make sure that I had more than less. But uh, as you can see, this is done, and we're going to make our treats with it. we start our apple jelly, I'm going to uh, introduce you to a new breed of apple called Rocket. R-O-C-K-I-T. It is my new favorite apple in the world. I love these things. They're nice and small. And uh, I can't really describe the flavor, but it's like, imagine if a Granny Smith was a little bit sweeter. I think that's probably pretty close. So um, I'm going to peel this and I'm going to dice it into cubes. So let's do that. I've peeled and cored these and I'm going to slice these in half. And then I'm going to make matchsticks. And then slice the other way around. All right, we've got our cubes and we're gonna toss them with a little bit of lemon juice so that they don't brown. And to tell you the truth, you probably don't need all of these. I probably made too much, but I'm gonna just eat them if uh, I don't need them. So that's fun. All right, first some sugar. Pot is off right now, by the way and some cornstarch. We're just gonna stir that up. It'll be easier to incorporate when it goes to meet the apples. Speaking of apples, we're gonna add half a cup of our puree that we made and a little bit of water just to get things going and a little bit of lemon juice, just a dash. Stir that in and then we'll turn on the heat. Check it out, it's boiling and it is thickening up considerably. Keep stirring it and we're gonna cook it for a while until 
it thickens up even more. Whatever you do, do not abandon your post. Keep stirring. As it thickens, the stuff burns pretty quickly. All right, when they're at this stage, and you can do this, and you know, it leaks back, but it leaks back slowly. Turn off the heat, and then we can add our apples. I think I'm gonna use them all, that's nice. Stir them in good, incorporate it. All right, these are little sphere molds, and I'm gonna spoon our jelly into these molds. There's really no wrong way of doing this, but the cool thing with silicone is it's hard to make a mess if it's contained in a baking sheet like this. As you can see here, my recipe did far more than just eight. It's gonna make a lot, but that's okay. Uh, I like having extra, so I don't have to do this next time I make this dessert. Um, however, if you want to half the recipe, uh, feel free to do that. Um, but whatever you do, take your uh, little domes and put them in the freezer for about... We're going to check them in 30 minutes, but it might take an entire hour. Alright, it's been a couple hours, so they're uh, mostly solid. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the halves and put them on top of the... And kind of just squeeze it. Kind of just squeeze it on there. It'll stick. All right, that's all the cooking I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the cream tomorrow, so I'm going to let these set up in the freezer overnight. All right, step one for our apple mousse. We're going to soak some gelatin. I'm just going to put that into this water and stir it in. Clumps aren't too good, so I'm going to stir that very gently with a chopstick so that it soaks real good all right we're gonna let that we're gonna set that aside all right next some cream it's not whipped yet i was about to say whipped cream but it's not whipped yet we're going to whip it all right now you could use an electric whisk for this when it's this little cream i just do it by hand just about done as you can see nice and stiff to fix. All right, set this aside. All right, into a small saucepan goes our Granny Smith puree that we made yesterday. Get it all. And a little bit of lemon juice. And some sugar. And I'm just gonna stir this all up right before I put it to some heat. All right, I'm gonna cook this on medium heat. Don't wanna be too rough with it. But I do want this to come up to a steady boil. Pretty, there, there we go. That's some vigorous bubbles. I'm going to turn off the heat. And I'm going to add the soaked gelatin from before. And a little bit of vanilla, very little. And we're going to Stir this until the gelatin completely dissolves, which should happen pretty simply. All right, there's a little bit of a chunk there, but it'll it'll dissolve. Don't worry. All right, so the apple jellies basically cooled down. Uh, there's no more smoke coming out of it, and I've been stirring it constantly for about five minutes. So now we can incorporate it into our reserved cream and sometimes people go in stages but I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in make sure to get it all and then we're going to carefully fold carefully fold Probably should have let it cool down more, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Alright, that's good. These are apple molds. And when I unmold it, 
doesn't look like it right now, but when I unmold it, it will look like an apple. All right, I'm gonna take one of these delicious jellies and push it into the thing with the cream kind of mold over it. And then this one as well. Top off with the rest of the cream. All right, so one more thing. I'm gonna put a mini vanilla wafer at the very top just to serve as a base for these. Just right. These are gonna go in the fridge for about four hours to set up. Uh, and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. But first, let's let them set up in the fridge. All right, so you just kind of have to be brave with it. Just drag them out. Look at that. Pretty little apples. I'm gonna put them back in the freezer for a hot second because I don't want them to start getting soft on me. All right, glaze is gonna be set with a very light gelatin mixture. So I'm going to take uh, some gelatin and some water. We're gonna bloom it just like we did before. This is super fine sugar. I'm gonna reserve a little bit of it. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And I'm gonna mix that with some cornstarch. Real next. Probably should use a bit of bowl. Bit of bowl, All right, that's fine. All right, in a small pot goes the rest of our sugar that we didn't mix with the cornstarch. And some glucose powder, you can find that online or in some cake stop. In some cake shops, sorry. Some milk. Some cream. And we can go and take this to a stove to get it to boil. All right, I have this heating up over medium-low heat. I want to bring this to a boil, but there's no need to rush it. This is pretty delicate stuff. Now this looks pretty good now, but we're making golden apples here, so let's Add a little bit of gold gel color. All right, that color is pretty good, but I'm going to add a little bit of edible glitter so that it's even more shiny. Check it out, molten gold. So this is still boiling pretty fast. I'm going to uh, turn off the heat let it calm down a little bit before the next step. So, I'm not taking it off the stove, but I am turning off the heat. Once it's back down to a low bubble, I'm gonna sprinkle in that cornstarch sugar mixture, whisking continuously so I don't get any lumps. Whisk, 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 whisk. And then, I'm gonna bring it right back up to the boil. Over medium heat, don't wanna rush this. All right, so I took the mixture out of the fridge after about 20 minutes, because I wanna make sure that I don't miss my opportunity once it drops to 105. It is hovering around 108. I'm gonna keep stirring it with the thermometer so that I can add the gelatin mixture right when it hits 105. 105. All right, I'm gonna add the gelatin and I'm going to switch to my whisk. We're gonna stir it in until it is completely dissolved. All right, now while it feels like it's dissolved, I'm going to not take any chances and I'm gonna run my stick blender through it. All right, once your uh, coating liquid has reached 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You can grab your apple directly from the freezer and glaze it. Make sure that every single... Ah! All right, let it, the excess strip out. Make sure that you have a cooling rack ready. And for stems, I'm gonna shove in a chocolate 
covered pretzel. And a small little. Check out my other Minecraft videos. I think you'll like them. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss a video. See you next time. Bye!